Eight explosions hit Sri Lankan's churches and hotels at the time when Christians observed their holiest day. Pope Francis expressed closeness with the Christian communities targeted while they gathered in prayer. All those who were tragically killed I entrust to the Lord, and I pray for the injured and all those who are suffering as a result of this traumatic event. U.S. President Donald Trump was among the first of the political leaders who tweeted their outrage on Easter morning. Authorities in Colombo imposed a curfew and blocked social media until further notice. We've ordered the arrest of everyone involved in this incident and have given all powers to the authorities in charge. We don't tolerate this kind of behavior. No one has claimed responsibility for the attacks, but Sri Lanka's defense ministry says the culprits have been identified as religious extremists and members of a single group. Officials said suicide bombers were responsible for the majority of the morning's blasts. Eight people were arrested soon after the attacks, but the search for others involved continued. Right now, the, the CID, the police, and the three forces are doing all the investigations. We believe that all the culprits who have been involved in this unfortunate terrorist incident will be taken into custody as soon as possible. They have been identified and they are taking the necessary investigation and they will be taken into custody as soon as possible. It was the worst violence to hit the South Asian country since its civil war ended a decade ago. During the 30 years of civil war, we had Lots of explosions in Colombo. We are used to our airport getting blown up and the central banks, things like that. But it's been a 10 years of uh, peace and we got used to that. Security was stepped up at Sri Lanka's international airport and elsewhere after the attacks on Sunday. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.